Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, my name is Günther Schiele. I work in the powertrain department for developing diesel engines for the US. And today, I'm very happy to be here in Virginia, and it's my pleasure to present to you our current and future diesel solutions, which are an important part of our effort in clean and efficient cars. Outstanding efficiency has always been one of our top priorities and it has always resulted in a measurable benefit for the customer and the environment. And over the last three decades, a lot of engineering work was done to overcome these shortcomings. Most of you know these shortcomings, but the younger generation doesn't know it. I don't know them. And uh, these short, <laughs> I know only the new generation. And uh, the diesel now is a sporty and a fuel efficient powertrain. The success of the modern diesel can be seen every day in European traffic and this chart shows that over 50% of all new vehicle registrations in Europe are clean diesel powered cars. And we are convinced that the diesel is more than a viable option for the US market. And the future market share of the diesel can be significantly increased from its current share of 5%. For more than 30 years, since 1977 to be precise, Volkswagen has been selling cars with diesel engines in the US market. And from humble beginnings in 1977 with a 1 1.5 liter 50 horsepower diesel engine in the first Rabbit model. In 1993, we introduced the first turbocharged direct injection diesel engine meeting tier one emission standards with 90 horsepower. In model year 2000, we further refined the technology to meet tier 2 bin 10 emission standards and increase the power output up to 100 horsepower. Four years later, the power was again increased to 136 horsepower. A definite highlight of Volkswagen diesel history in the US is the V10 TDI in the Touareg and because it was the first SUV in the US market featuring a particulate filter. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, last year Volkswagen opened a new chapter, you know this, we introduced in summer 2008 the Jetta Clean Diesel, as Steve mentioned before, and uh, this engine, the two liter four cylinder engine, uh, won uh, this year the Engine of the Year Award in Detroit early this year. And this car meets the most stringent tier 2 bin 5 ULF2 emission standards and is, as mentioned before, certified for all 50 states. And as you know, this car is very positively received by the public. Um, the next chart, please. Could we go ahead? Yeah, the success of the TDI Better encouraged us to expand our diesel offerings in the US and therefore we are here together. Volkswagen will introduce another clean diesel vehicle to the US market, it's the Touareg 3 liter TDI V6 with a clean diesel engine. And this car and its new powertrain will also meet the most stringent tier 2 bin 5 ULIF 2 emission standards and is also certified in all 50 states of the USA. This chart should give you an impression of the dramatic emission reduction necessary over the last five years to be able to offer a 50 state concept. The blue box, the little blue box, represents a NOx standard of 0.05 gram per mile or a 95% reduction from tier 1 NOx levels in 2003. And also the particulate reduction, you can see them on the y-axis, uh, has to be over 85% to meet these requirements. And these standards were a big challenge for us engineers. And our approach to get into this little blue box was a combination of engine measures to lower the particulates and NOx emissions by 30%, just from the basis, the engine brings 30% and an advanced uh, exhaust gas after treatment 
which consists of a particulate filter and an active DNOX system. In the next slides, I would like to explain the employed technology of our V6 TDI in the Clean Diesel Tour Rack. Let's first have a look at the engine itself. The V6 TDI was the first diesel in a new generation of V engines with a 90 degree angle and with a distance between the cylinders of 19, 90 millimeters. Impressive is also the chain drive of this engine. This design principle makes this engine extremely short and compact. And the TDI Tourec Clean Diesel uses a couple of engine measures to reduce the engine out emissions. For the fuel injection, we use the third generation common rail system with piezo injectors with a maximum injection pressure of 2000 bar or approximately 29,000 psi. The injectors have eight hole nozzles to produce a good spray pattern and as a result the mixture preparation is more effective and combustion is highly efficient and creates very few emissions. The turbocharger with its variable turbine geometry generates high torque even at low speeds in conjunction with a high power output and the maximum boost pressure is 1.6 bar and the turbocharger rotates at nearly 200,000 revolutions per minute. Another key part to get the engine out emissions reduced is the all-around advanced exhaust gas recirculation system. And this high-performance EGR system consisting of two coolers was a special development for the V6 TDI in the US market. Otherwise, we couldn't get into this little box. Um, a new feature on our engine, which you won't find on our competitor's engine, is this integrated cylinder pressure control. And uh, this helps us to optimize at the same time the economy, the emissions and the comfort. And for a luxury class car, it is obvious that an acceptable noise pattern is needed. And thanks to the piezo injectors and the multiple injection strategy, the combustion can be extremely smooth and the combustion noise is extremely lower than from any known diesels in the past. And this was an impressive step forward in diesel engine development that our customers appreciate every time they drive their car. And this package of modifications was the first step in radically reducing the engine out emissions. And the next slide shows the exhaust gas after treatment of our V6 TDI. You can see the oxidation catalyst, which reduces hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide. Further downstream, we have the particulate filter. And with the soot filter, we are able to reduce the particulates emissions by 98%. And finally, oxides of nitrogen, so-called NOx, must be reduced. Within the exhaust line, we use an innovative cleaning system that reduces NOx emissions by around 90%. And this system uses an additive which is called AdBlue, and this is injected in small amounts upstream of the DENOX converter or catalyst. And the, the, exhaust, uh, the hot exhaust gases, they break down this AdBlue to create ammonia, which converts the NOx into nitrogen and water. And the whole DENOX system is controlled by two NOX sensors.